so to a five membered ring a six membered it's attached we call these compounds as spiro compounds okay fine so so to a five membered ring a six membered ring is attached with a plus charge over here fine now a subsequent ring expansion of this group will also take place okay so this bond breaks leaving a negative charge over here and a positive charge over here now this negative and this positive are combined okay so eventually we are left with a six membered ring so the structure now resembles somewhat like this this bond okay and the plus charge is over here all right so if we draw this properly we get a six membered carbon and another six membered carbon over here with a plus charge residing over here now the plus charge is removed and we are left with this alkene okay fine i hope you understand this uh, ring expansion dehydration problems okay fine so i would take up one more example so that you get an idea of uh, ring expansion more in a more better way i, I would rather take up a very simple problem a problem alike which i took a few minutes back okay but the only change that i'm going to do is that attach a methyl group over here fine so as usual we have acid so this would generate the carbocation like this now now the big question is that which bond is going to cleave for the ring expansion this one or this one see the migratory aptitude of the groups depends on the charge density okay so the migratory group the migratory aptitude of the hydride ion is more than phenyl is more than 3 degree is more than 2 degree is more than 1 degree is more than ch3 okay methyl no uh, why this is uh, why this is following a trend like this the migratory aptitude is directly proportional to the charge density okay so as we can see hydrogen the hydride ion being a very small uh, being very small and a negative charge over it has the largest charge density followed by the phenyl the 3 degree 2 degree and 1 degree okay in this case you see we are going to if we cleave the bond okay if we cleave this bond in the first case put a minus charge over here and a plus charge over here okay now what happens this combines okay or we have carbon ion form we cleave this bond carbon ion is formed here 
and a positive formed here and this is combined okay so we need that the elect the charge density over the carbon which is going for an expansion be increased because the migratory aptitude is directly proportional to the charge density here you see as this carbon as compared to this one has lesser charge density because in this case this carbon is aided by the inductive effect of this CH3 group so this will be more favored than this okay so I would go for ring expansion from this carbon we are left with the plus charge over here okay so this looks like we would redraw the structure in a proper way so I would suggest you to number these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so we will draw a 6 membered carbon ring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at the second position we have a carbocation at the sixth position we have a methyl group okay so we are left with this carbocation fine okay now this carbocation rearranges to this one okay and we get an alkene like this all right so so the main uh, motive of this problem was to make you understand the concept of ring expansion 